really? <laughs> okay. By the time you get this video, at least some of you will have seen that the video that I got killed for in the comments section was actually an April Fool's joke. Now, I want to talk about a few things here that I found very interesting. At first, when I thought about this idea, I wasn't sure if I should do it. But then I realized something. One, April Fool's is supposed to be about a sense of humor. It's supposed to be about being able to harmlessly pull a prank on someone. And the other purpose of that video is to see if people actually pay attention to what I talk about. One of the things I have stressed throughout the years, and if you've been watching me for a while, you can agree to this and attest to this, that I've always said, always confirm things, always check into things, don't just assume. And here we are. Now, I can understand if somebody said, well, you know, it was a 28 minute long video and I didn't want to watch to the end, so I didn't pay attention. I can understand that. Not really, but I can understand that at least. But if anybody actually read the description, it clearly states, and you could check it to confirm, that's an April Fool's joke. So that would have taken a total of 35 seconds, maybe a minute if you're a slower reader. But people don't check those things. Also, which I saw people going back and forth calling me a sellout and a paid shill and working for the New World Order. Some nice comments. And you should see some of the emails I got. Um, none of them bothered to check the comments where repeated number of people that actually were smart enough to watch the whole video or actually read the comments knew it was a April Fool's joke. What this tells me is that the majority of people who watch my videos are basically looking for drama. They are also easily influenceable. They don't research things and they will turn on you in a dime. And that's perfectly fine because this sends me a lot clear messages. So first off, I want to, I don't want to harp too much on the negative. I want to say to the people who paid attention to it and the ones who actually watched the whole thing, thank you. Because people don't seem to understand. Some people got their feelings really hurt. I mean, you read the comments. I'm leaving every single one of them up. I haven't deleted any. If it's not up there, that means it's spam and I haven't checked it yet. I will post them. But I want people to see how mean and rotten and how quick people will turn. And whose fault is that? Is it my fault you didn't watch the whole video? Is it my fault you don't read the description? Is it my fault that you are judgmental? Because I can guarantee you this. Anybody that called me the names that they did, I guarantee you not one of them will apologize. That's fine because I don't need it. And those who unsubscribed because you were foolish enough to not watch a whole video, to not read the descriptions or read the numerous comments of saying, ah, it's an April Fool's joke. Please do me a favor and stay unsubscribed because I don't want you on my channel. I'm trying to show people. Here it is. Here it is in a nutshell why I, I decided to do this video. And it shows I'm not about money. I wanted people to see that even people that you trust can make mistakes, can say things wrong, or can even flat out lie to you. Now, I'm not saying I'm here to lie to people. I mean, this is April Fool's. It's supposed to be a joke. It's a way to do pranks. And I had to do it in a way that would trick you. And obviously, I can set things up. Let me tell you something. I used to be one of those people, if I wanted to, I could have been a very manipulative person. I could have taken advantage of people left and right. It's easy for me. But I never wanted to do it because it's not right. So you could see, if I really want to, I mean, I set it up to the point where I got people, even knowing it's April Fool's. How many people that you saw, probably 85% of the people who commented, and I have over a 1,000 views on this video, even though YouTube will probably show 14, that 80 to 90% of them either believed I was a paid shill, sold out, and turned like that. So in other words, don't assume that, okay, here's a person that's been nothing but as honest as he can be, full of integrity, but as soon as I see one thing, instead of watching the whole thing, instead of verifying it, instead of asking, I'm just going to assume automatically guilty, you're done. Really? And people wonder why they're so easily manipulated and how easily it is to use your emotions 
to control you. Congratulations, because let me tell you something. These were not just strangers that were commenting. Some of the people that made these nasty comments are regular subscribers. And instead of being mad at me, be mad at yourself. Because one, you can't take a joke. Two, you didn't watch the whole video. And most of you, well, the majority of you that got left those comments never did. They just unsubscribed. You never checked the description, which would take you 30 seconds. And you didn't read the comments other than the ones people going back and forth. Oh, it's bash bar none. So those people that unsubscribed, good riddance to you. I don't want you on my channel. And see, this will show that I'm not about the money and I'm not about to sell out. Because as you see, because of that partnership that I'm in, I do get a small amount of revenue for the advertisements. If I tell people to go away, I don't want you back. Well, wouldn't that damage the amount of money I could potentially get? I don't care about the money. And I'll tell you this. The partnership that I have, the NG4TV or NGTV, I don't even care enough to memorize their name. They can drop me at any heartbeat because I will never sell out. And my even the partners that I work with, they got sold out by Disney. This is what I think of the partnership. They can go screw themselves. I don't care if they drop me in a heartbeat. I'm not going to sit here and kiss the ass of somebody because I'll make, what, $200? It means nothing to me. It's a bonus. So I could buy a little bit more gold and silver because I can't do it now that I lost my job back in January for my DJ job. So, yeah. But let, let's keep things in perspective here. Let's let's do a little honesty for everybody out there, shall we? Let's see if some people out there are adult enough to hear what I'm about to say. Because a lot of people judge me. And that's fine. Mirror, mirror. When you're judging somebody else, you're really judging yourself. But let's just play along with it. By a show of hands, because we're going to keep this real right now. How many of you are currently living in a cave or living in the woods where you built a shelter out of nothing but what nature provides with nothing more than stone tools? Raise your hand if, if you're living in a cave right now or you've built a house out of trees and bushes in the wilderness. I don't see any. How many of you are watching this video from a computer that you built yourself out of parts that you found in naturally in nature and somehow learned how to suck the energy out of the air to create power and get an internet signal. Raise your hands if you if any of you have built your own computer out of trees and bushes and raw materials that you've extracted from the earth from your bare hands or with stone tools. Raise your hands. Don't see any. How many of you own a vehicle? Need a driver's license, don't you? Need a vehicle. Where did you buy that vehicle? Did you happen, any of you raise your hand if you've built your own car? Again, from materials that you extracted from the earth with your bare hands or with stone materials, stone tools. Did you build your own car or did you buy it from a corporation? How many of you have a job? What do you get paid in? Do you get paid in cows? You get paid in uh, baskets of eggs, loaf of bread. What do you get paid in money? Anybody get paid by getting a cow or a bunch of seeds? Raise your hand. You probably get paid. See the hypocrisy I'm trying to state here? And see how quick people are really to judge? Like somebody, and I won't even mention his name. His name is Static Kling or whatever his name is. That's as far as credit as I'm going to give him. He spends all his days making videos that have about, what, 7 to 14 views on him saying, oh, look, here, here's a thing of tape. There is no economic collapse here. And he zooms in and the three or four people that watch it are very excited to watch that 50 times because, you know, that's contributing to society. But he talks about how I've sold out because I sell organ pyramids and I, you know, and I have like natural crystals and stones so I can earn a living. And I, I take fiat because last time I checked. No one's offering me a chicken or offering me a barrel of hay. And I use the fiat money because that's what we have to have, unfortunately, in this world. I would love for somebody to go to a supermarket and go to buy groceries. And when they tell you, well, the total's $200, you say, well, I have $200 worth of chickens. Let's see how fast they say, oh, OK, $200 worth of chickens. Send them right over and you'll get your groceries.
they'll probably call the cops on you if you were dumb enough to be that ridiculous to make that statement. Because until the whole system changes, nothing changes. So a few people want to say, like, you know what? I don't care about people in the world. I'm just going to look out for me. So I'm going to get out of the system and I'm going to be fine. No, they're going to hunt you down. And because of the fact that people are easily influenced, what if the government all of a sudden decides they want to take you out? And the way they do it is by posting something on the news that says such and such person was seen committing murder or building a bomb or raping a child or doing something. You see how quick people are quick to judge and automatically believe something because they hear it on the television. Now, let me tell you something. I told Corey about this because I wanted his help making these shirts and everything. And the first one I wanted to make like just a normal one. The second one I wanted to make seem a little weird. Third one I want to seem even weirder. But really, guys? People were calling me a communist. I did that as a joke. Join the winning team and it has the Russian symbol. No one saw that. I actually thought there would be more people that would be smart enough. Not one person actually even mentioned this. And I was laughing to Corey. You can even ask him yourself because I was talking to him on the phone when he sent all this stuff for me. And I appreciate his work because he has a sense of humor as well. I thought that would be the dead giveaway. Do you know out of all the comments... Do you know only two people said that they read the description and realized it was an April Fool's joke? Two people out of a thousand views so far. So this has a bigger picture to it because people will turn on you in a dime because it doesn't matter that I, you know, try and be as honest and straightforward as possible and tell people it's not about the money and I care about it, my integrity and I try and do the right thing. But as soon as I make a April Fool's joke on April Fool's, I waited until three o'clock in the morning to post it because then it would at least be at midnight all the way up to the West Coast. People automatically assumed that I sold out and they were quick to judge. No one bothered to email me and say, is this for real? They just assumed. And you wonder how easily even the people in the truther community or whatever community you want to call this. I mean, don't forget about the sheep who believe anything they hear on the tell of vision. These are the people that the majority of people that come here come here because they want to learn truth. They want to learn from people they can trust and they don't want to do the work. And for the people out there, no matter how hard I work, there are always people. Oh, where's the link? Where's the link? Do you really think that there are links to everything that's happening in the world? Do you think when the government hires somebody to assassinate somebody, they decide to enter a link that you could find it, where they did it, how they did it, and who did it? I mean, really? I want to say something really nice right now. Um, there was a guy, hold on a second, I forget his name. I'm going to give him a shout out because this gentleman made two response videos for me. One before he watched the whole thing, and he actually was telling me, good luck, congratulations, he was proud, he wanted me to succeed. And then later on, when he realized that it was an April Fool's joke, because he made that video before he watched the whole thing, he was saying, you know what, I have a sense of humor, I didn't take offense to it, you know, you got me, good one. And this is a very religious person, and the, those who watch me know that I am not into religion the way I used to be because of the things I've researched. I realize it's a lot about manipulation. But you know what? I don't judge him and he doesn't judge me. And you know what? I'm going to send a link to his video because his video was nothing short of perfection of how people should act. He didn't judge. He didn't insult. He didn't assume. He didn't attack. He didn't tell me, well, I... From his perspective, I believe in God and you don't. So that means you're evil. You're going to hell. You're going to burn. You're going to die. No. He said, you know what? You should do your own research. You have the freedom to make your own choices. And I respect that. I wish everybody was like that. And um, I'm, it's taken a little while on my cell phone, so pardon me. Um, I want to make sure I get his name right. His name is Robert Firestone. And I'm going to place the link in the description. And unfortunately, I have to mention that because 99% of you will never know it's there unless I point it out. So I'm sorry if people are hurt. And I'm sorry people can't do their own responsible thing, because I've said over and over again, do your own due diligence. Be responsible for what you do. Don't wait for Superman. And I can guarantee you, next year when it's April Fool's, I'm going to trick people again. And I'll find another way to get people. 
And if you don't have a sense of humor and you want to say nasty things, well, take responsibility for the fact that you didn't watch the whole video. You didn't read the comment section. You didn't watch the read the description. Whose fault is that? Mine or yours? So are you really angry at me because I got you? Or are you angry at yourself because you didn't do what you were supposed to do? And this should be a learning lesson. This is just me who's doing an April Fool's joke and trying to educate my subscribers to be more diligent for their own safety. Just imagine when the media and the television and the propaganda comes on the television and how they automatically label somebody, whatever they do, people will automatically believe it because, oh, I read it in the newspaper or I saw it on the internet or I watched it on the TV and there's a bunch of people that I trust that are on the news. That's why they have very beautiful women. So you pay attention to their chests instead of their ideas that come out of their mouths because they're not anything more than ridiculous opinions and things they read off a cue card. Because if you ever watch mainstream media, there's a reason why every channel talks about pretty much the same thing, almost down to the same exact word. That's what propaganda is all about. And if you want to continue to be fooled, why are you so shocked that the world is as shitty as it is? So Robert Firestone, I thank you. I thank you for having a sense of humor. I thank you for being kind. I thank you for being respectful. I thank you for showing what a real man is all about. To me, that gentleman is the epitome of what the world should be. And I don't share in his views. I used to be very religious. And I researched and learned in a different way. But instead of him chastising me or saying, oh, I'm unsubscribing because you don't think the way I do, he realizes I have the right and he wishes me luck and he sends his best and he appreciates my information. While so many others judge and turn on you and don't take responsibility for what they chose to do or chose what not to do. So you know what? The people who got, and I'll pardon the expression, if you have ch children, children, hold the ears. I'm sorry for the people who got butt hurt over an April Fool's prank. But if you said the nasty things that you said about me and you said at the end of it, I'm unsubscribing. I don't want you here. And I don't care if 90% of the people who subscribe to me unsubscribe. And I only have 20 people that give a crap enough to pay attention and to be here for the right reasons. I don't care if I lose 99% of the little bit of revenue I get, because if you think this is about the money, if you think that I go through all this every day for $300 for so far just for one month, when all the years I've been doing this for nothing and all the time I've been being abused, attacked, insulted, you're crazy. And people say, oh, you're being overdramatic. Well, be called a rapist. Be called a pedophile. Be called all these nasty names. And then I get my subscribers, the people, a lot of them that have been following me for a while, saying, oh, you sold out. Now you're part of the New World Order. Or are you really a paid shill? I mean, if you think that, get off my channel. Because obviously you are nothing but a follower. You will believe anything that you hear. You will not take responsibility for your own actions. And you deserve everything that you get. If you don't like the harshness of what I'm saying, what you do does not affect me. You may affect me for a second. I may read something and not like it and I, I have a reaction to it. But you know what? I'm not going to lose sleep over anybody. And that goes for the, the unit and... Santrice 9,640.69. I don't know what the hell his name is. I don't care. But instead of them doing something positive and creating a better world, all they do is sit there and judge. Like Static Kling and even that Tacos guy, who I'm going to give him a little slack because of something that I won't talk about. He knows. And I kept a promise. But, you know, people will assume and they'll judge. So that's perfectly fine. But I want to say that I don't regret making that video. And I'm actually glad I did it because it sent a clear message that you can have people who absolutely love you and absolutely respect you, love listening to you. And if one thing is not the way they like it, they will turn on you like that without even asking you. Take responsibility for your lives. If you want to be that easily manipulated, that's perfectly fine.
And somebody, and I'm not going to point out any names or everything, somebody was comparing to me to Chris Duane and the videos I made about them. I made an April Fool's joke. Chris Duane spent the first bunch of months gathering a bunch of thousands of subscribers by giving all this wonderful information, telling you how you don't need fiat and telling people how you need to buy gold and silver. And then when he got enough people so he could make a profit and take advantage of them, all of a sudden he happened to be a salesman for that very silver that he said that he needed and took the very fiat that he said you should stay away from. And if you're going to compare me to people like that, if you're an adult, you'll apologize. Because you made the wrong mistake of not watching the whole video, not reading the descriptions, not reading the comments, and judged me and assumed that I would actually sell out on you guys. That is unbelievable. Even on Santo Spinacci's Facebook page, where he's kind enough to put my videos on every day. Because believe it or not, Santo Spinacci and I actually talk even on a semi-basis. He's an incredible man. He's one of the more honorable people I've ever met. He can be hot-headed at times. I've, I've never seen that before in his videos, but, you know, I can understand the justification behind it. But I respect that man almost better than anybody on the Internet. And he posted my video, my April Fool's video, and he clearly said in the title when he put down the link to the video, and you can go on his page and see this for yourself. He said, I highly and accented highly suggest you watch the entire highlighted entire video before commenting. And people still commented. If you can't follow simple instructions, then please stop claiming to be a victim. Those are the people that love to see the hero fall. It's just like in the first movie, Spider-Man, where the Green Goblin actually talks to Spider-Man and tries to convince him to go on his side. Because he said, eventually the people that you protect and love will eventually get bored of you and hate you. And they want to see you suffer. Why? Because what do you see on the news? Do you see good news all the time? Do you see nothing but death, destruction, people getting kidnapped, people getting killed, depression, depression, bad thing, bad thing. And we wonder why people want to see somebody jump off of a building instead of somebody saving them. We want to see evil things. Well, you know what? I don't. And if that means you think I have an ego and I think I'm better than some of the people, then so be it. You're going to make your judgments. You might as well go all in. So for the people with a sense of humor, and the people that watch this video to the end, I want you to put in the comment section, I'm proud to be a Barnon warrior, and I am proud to be a free-thinking individual. Or something to that extent. And I know 90% of the people will not watch this whole thing. And that is perfectly fine. I am not here to babysit you. I'm not here to do the work for you. If you're too lazy to press a link or to verify something, or even be human and talk to someone, go away. And I don't regret this at all. I am very glad I did this. This sent a clear message. And I will continue to make my videos, and people will continue to make your accusations. If you want to be a person that I'd like to call Negative Nancy, and spend your whole life doing fear porn, hurting people's feelings, attacking others, that's your right. That's the beautiful thing of free will. Free will gives you the choice to do whatever you want, including the wrong thing. But you get no sympathy from me. So bring on the judgments. Bring on the insults and, you know, the the unit and static cling and Santry 7,470 Sue and Mr. Burrito and all those other people who like to troll and they're proud of that achievement. Make your videos. All you can do is judge. All you can do is attack. And if it wasn't for people like me, no one would even care about your videos. And especially when somebody like the unit says, oh, you know, he just thinks so high of himself. I really don't care. Go to his site. I'll give him, I'll give him a quick shout out. Go to thenewsunit.com and see every other video, or at least one a day, is about me. Go to his seven hour long videos. I watched about 15 minutes of one and I wanted to shoot myself. And watch how many times he brings up my name. But, you know, he doesn't care about me. I think I, he thinks I have a high horse, but yet he always talks about me all the time. This is the first time in how many times I've even mentioned his name. Okay, so this video is long enough. I am loving how many people in the truther community or whatever community you want to call it, 
don't do research, will automatically assume what they hear is real without verification, and are very angry, judgmental people. That's going to help bring a better world about. Be proud of yourselves today. Not only did you get April fooled, but you really exposed who you really are. And I thank you for that. So, if you went bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs>